Hey y'all, it's Camille. I am back again with another um, planning video in my Moxie Life planner. And this time I wanted to kind of show you what I do each week at the end of the week for the weekly reflections. So in this planner, at the end of each week, okay, when the week is over, and you turn the page to get ready for the next week, there is a blank page. And so this is really for any, you can be for anything, but I use it to kind of reflect back on my week and um, to then set my goals on this page. This will be the weekly actions for the upcoming week. If I turn one more page, you'll see this is the weekly spread. So what I like to do, and I'm gonna show you the, la the two that I did, um, that I've already done of the last two weeks of the year, because I haven't done this week's just yet. What I do is as the week goes along, I showed you uh, in my last video that I uh, mark off the tasks that I complete and I color code those because those help me see which um, of my areas that they go with. And then what I do is I go through and I mark off if that was a weekly action then, or it went with my weekly actions, then I go ahead and color code those and mark those off as well. Then, I look at my weekly reflection. So for this particular week, I would have marked these off, whoops, and then go here to look at my reflections. So I had three categories, my wins, things I was happy about that I had was able to accomplish and complete for the week, some challenges that I faced, and then some ways I'd like to grow for the next week. So in this particular week, one of the challenges I faced was the weather. It wasn't good. We had a lot of really cold mornings and I couldn't get out and walk and do my exercise. So for the next week, I planned to look more at the weather and focus on, okay, if the weather is gonna be better in the afternoon, then I need to change my schedule around so that I can walk in the afternoons, not in the mornings. So that's what I do at the end of that week. So for this week, here is my weekly spread and I've included my weather so I know what um, I was able to get accomplished uh, as far as whether that impacted my exercise routine or not, as well as some travel that I did. And then I also still have a few things left I wanted to accomplish today that go with specific other tasks. So for this week, I flip back. I'm going to, I've been highlighting along and as the things that on my weekly actions page that I completed for week two. Later today, tonight, when I sit down to plan out next week, I will go through and write down things that I am happy about, some wins I had for the week. Again, challenges, things I need um, that really just kind of thwarted my plans for the week. And then ways that I want to grow and move forward. And at the end of every one of these pages, there are tips on goal setting. And um, this one just says, review your goals. Are you writing goals that are simple, specific, and measurable? And so it just reminds you of little things you need to think about as you work towards those weekly actions. Some of these will transfer over, some will not. If I need, if I'm looking in different categories and think, okay, what else do I need to accomplish in my home environment category, physical and home environment? I'll flip back to my monthly goals as well as my annual goals. Look in that category, see if there's anything that I can put for a weekly action for this week. That's where I will, that's how I use the system to remind myself these are things I need to accomplish for the next week. Then I will, as I, I've already done some pre-planning on little sticky notes and things that I already knew were happening, I already pre-planned some things that don't change every week. Those are time sensitive, date sensitive, day sensitive, and they have to be done on those specific day, dates, and times. So those automatically will go down when I do my monthly planning. But then the sticky notes can be moved around as I need to. I will look at this and put some of those things here or smaller daily tasks that will help me accomplish those weekly actions. So that's just kind of a brief overview of what I do with the reflections, what I call the reflections pages. You can use that page for anything, notes, tracking, 
um, just whatever you'd like. But that's just how I use it. And I hope that you found this video helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. And if you're coming, if you're back for, um, you've been here before and seen my other videos, I really appreciate you supporting me and encouraging me um, on my planner journey. So I'm going to let y'all go and I will talk to you later. Bye.